أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة بسم الله الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله جل وعلا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وقدوتنا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله أرسله ربنا إلى عموم الثقلين بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا فأدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله جل وعلا به الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصل اللهم وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عن ساداتنا الخلفاء الأربعة الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة والتابعين وتابع التابعين وتابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عنا معهم بمنك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين أما بعد Dear respected brothers and sisters in faith Allah Almighty encouraged every one of us to have the best provision ever in the journey of life as he mentioned 
وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب Make sure you have the right provision with you in this journey of life and the best type of provision is the piety, the fearness of Allah the obedience of the commandments of Allah staying away from whatever Allah Almighty forbids and asked us to stay away from dear brothers and sisters in faith our topic for today will be another lesson that we learned from the story of the kingdom of Sulaiman alayhi salam we were discussing some of those lessons we were talking about having knowledge working and working hard we were talking about relating the blessing to the one who's really giving it that is Allah Almighty himself and not relating it to ourselves and to our hard work we were talking about the contribution of every single member in the community in order for us to have a powerful community and a powerful nation today inshallah we will be talking about crisis management yes indeed our life is full of crises calamities and even wars that we always hear about here and there we might even and some of us are involved in it within their own country in the story of Sulaiman alayhi salam that Allah Almighty mentioned we will be going through two examples for that crisis management the first example happened when Sulaiman alayhi salam sent the hubu with a letter to the queen of Sheba Bilqis he carried that message that letter to her and then he gave it and then he left while observing what is happening Bilqis replied to this يا أيها الملأ إني ألقي إلي كتاب كريم إنه من سليمان وإنه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O counselors I have received a respectful book it is from Sulaiman and it is beginning by the name of Allah the beneficent the most merciful ألا تعلو علي وأتوني مسلمين Do not be arrogant against me and come to me with the suspicion with the submission to the true religion of Allah and then she continued with her counselors قالت يا أيها الملأ أفتوني في أمري ما كنت قاطعة أمرا حتى تشهدون O counselor give me the right advice in my matter I will never make a decision without consulting with you first the reply back to her was قالوا نحن أولو قوة وأولو بأس شديد والأمر إليك فانظري ماذا تأمرين we are people of strength and great courage and the decision is yours whatever decision you will be taking we will be fulfilling we will be following your decision we give her the hint that if you declare war against Sulaiman and his troops we are ready for it if that is your decision we will be following that she has the smartness and the intelligence understanding the situation in which she is getting a message 
She does not know Sulaiman. And this is why clearly Sulaiman did not start with mentioning the name of Allah. Rather, he mentioned his name first, which is the other way when the message is sent to those people who have the knowledge of the previous books. But the nation that he is sending to, they are worshipping the sun. They do not know who Allah is. They are not the people of book for from a previous nations worshipping Allah and then got destroyed. This is why he mentioned with the same materialistic part, Innahu min Sulaiman. They know Sulaiman. They know how powerful he is. And then he mentioned the name of Allah after that. Out of his smartness and intelligence and good understanding of the situation, and she knows that she still has some time to take a decision, she replied, Inna al muluka, qalat inna al muluka, idha dakhalu qaryatan afsaduha, wa ja'alu a'izzata ahliha adhillatan wa kathalika yaf'aloon, wa inni mursilatun ilayhim bihadiyatin, فَنَاظِرَةٌ بِمَا يَرْجِعُ الْمُرْسَلُونَ Indeed, that is her reply. Indeed, when kings come over to a new territory or land, fighting, what they are doing is they destroy the whole thing. And they, they humiliate those who are noble among those people. And the first one who will be affected, the first one who will be affected are those noble people, including herself, after being queen of Sheba and what that kingdom was blessed with. She will be in a very, very bad position. Out of this understanding, she mentioned وَإِنِّي مُرْسِلَةٌ إِلَيْهِمْ بِهَدِيَّةٍ فَنَاظِرَةٌ بِمَا يَرْجِعُ الْمُرْسَلُونَ Let me send them a gift full of wealth and all of those stuff that we have. And I will see exactly what Sulaiman is looking for. I will check if he is a really a prophet or he is just a materialistic king who is just trying to fight to get the wealth of other people. I will send him a gift and I will check what the outcome of this message going to them or going to Sulaiman and his people. Allah Almighty mentioned after that, فَلَمَّا جَاءَ سُلَيْمَانَ قَالَ أَتُمِدُّونَنِي بِمَالٍ فَمَا آتَانِيَ اللَّهُ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا آتَاكُمْ بَلْ أَنْتُمْ بِهَدِيَّتِكُمْ تَفْرَحُونَ Sulaiman replied back to the messenger who came over to him from Queen Bilqis and said, Are you providing me with the wealth as a kind of bribe, so I stop my call to Allah. You know what? Allah blessed me with much, much greater things that compare to what He blessed you with. And He sent back whatever gifts that was sent out to Him. It was a clear message from Sulaiman, and he was ready to declare war as they did not respond. When the message, when the gift came back to Bilqis, she understood the truth, the truthfulness of Sulaiman. And she understood how truthful he is, being a prophet from God calling to Allah. Bilqis took her decision to prepare for this, 
not to take a quick decision. Yes, let us just do it. Because she knows that there is a crisis that might destroy her and might destroy her nation in this life and also in the hereafter. However, out of wisdom, out of smartness, she was able to take the proper decision, planning forward. And later on, she went to Suleiman, based on the first commandment from Suleiman, Allah ta'alu alayya wa atuni muslimin. So she was not arrogant to come and to fulfill the message of Allah and to declare that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah. And she was guided to the true path. And every member of her nation was guided upon her guidance. On the other hand, Allah Almighty mentioned another example in the nation of the ants. There is a danger that is coming very close. The troops of Suleiman are passing by and they might destroy the whole nation of ants. One of them just stood up and she declared the emergency status. لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون. Do not let Suleiman and his troops destroy you while not paying attention to you. يا أيها النمل دخلوا مساكنكم لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون. Get back to your um, your own places to make sure that you are not destroyed. Allah Almighty mentioned all of that to teach us one thing out of the bottom line of the whole thing. There are some situations in our life in which we have sufficient time. So we go ahead and prepare for those times. And we prepare for the future. That is the answer of what if. What if such and such crisis is happening after X or Y days or years or months? What will be the situation that we will be doing to handle such a crisis? That is simply the future planning. However, on the other hand, there will be some situations in which the danger is coming very close. And in that situation, there is no time to plan. A decision needs to be made. And it needs to be made urgently. If the ant was waiting just to discuss with every individual other ant, okay, what would you think? Should we wait until Suleiman, Suleiman and his troops pass by? Or let us just do this? Or what would you think? If it took some time longer than what should be taken, she would, it would have been destroyed itself and its nation as well would have been destroyed. And that is the bottom line that we should understand out of the two examples that were mentioned in the story of the kingdom of Suleiman alayhi salam. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله جل وعلا لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله كما أمر والصلاة والسلام على خير البشر إلهي زاد قليل ما أراه مبلغي ألزاد أبكي أم لطول مسافتي 
أتحرقني بالنار يا غاية المنى فأين رجائي فيك بل أين محبتي It was narrated and related to Imam Ali the fourth rightly guided caliph may Allah be pleased with him and may Allah be pleased with all of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam it was mentioned مَا الْفَخْرُ إِلَّا لِأَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ إِنَّهُمُ عَلَى الْهُدَى لِمَنِ اسْتَهْدَى أَدِلَّاءُ وَقَدْرُ كُلُّ مْرِئٍ مَا كَانَ يُحْسِنُهُ وَالْجَاهِلُونَ لِأَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ أَعْدَاءُ فَفُزْ بِعِلْمٍ تَعِشْ حَيًّا بِهِ أَبَدًا أَنَّاسُ مَوْتًا وَأَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ أَحْيَاءُ Allah Almighty mentioned the importance of knowledge in that story in which he started with in the first verse. وَلَقَدَ آتَيْنَا سُلَيْمَانَ وَلَقَدَ آتَيْنَا دَاوُودَ وَسُلَيْمَانَ عِلْمًا That is the first verse, the first blessing for that kingdom to establish. Knowledge is important and knowledge is the first step ever and having a powerful nation and that is simply the main lesson that we learn out of this story Allahumma inna nas'aluka ya rabbana bi asma'ika al-husna wa sifatika al-ula an tusallia wa tusallim ala nabiyyina wa habibina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tuslih lana dinana alladhi huwa ismatu amrina wa an tuslih lana dunyana allati fiha ma'ashuna wa an tuslih lana akhiratana allati ilayha maradduna Allahumma ja'alil haya زيادة لنا في كل خير اللهم اجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر اللهم بلغنا مما يرضيك آمالنا ومنانا يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله جل وعلا يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تطلب